Right, uh, this is a introduction into my next diorama base build. Uh, if you didn't know, I have two channels. Uh, I have Simon Kemp's models, and also I have this channel, which is the 135th scale diorama builds. Now, this is my next little project, uh, or next build. The actual build of the tram car and the painting of all the figures and things like that that will be done on my other channel and it will appear on this channel on the end what I'm concerning myself with is the diorama here uh, this kit comes with a diorama base and a few extra goodies uh, but I'm not happy with this base and I'll remove this box and we'll have a look at the reason why. Okay, this is what you actually get in the kit. I'll show remove them. It's one of them vacuum sealed, vacuum made uh, boards. Now if I bring it up close, I think you can see all the little dimples or nipples sticking out where they actually vacuum form this on the mould. Now it is absolutely covered. So each one of them will have to be removed. Uh, I would say removing it would leave a hole so you're going to have to fill it and loads of missing air about. Uh, can you see better that way? No, but you can see them all. There is loads. It is absolutely covered in them. Uh, so, we'll put that back down. I'm not happy with that, so that's going to be uh, replaced. Uh, plan. Uh, the plan is that I want to go longer with this. Uh, a good I don't know. Another good hundred mil, I would say. Hundred mil. So if I do it from there, uh, no, yeah. No, actually, we're going to go about 150, which will take it from side to side of this screen now. Also, I would like to go deeper. Uh, for the simple reason is. I would like the tram here, the people, but I would like some in the foreground, uh, i.e. buildings, some shape, size or description, destroyed or intact, I'm not sure yet. Uh, the tram line will be easily replaced with a bit of I uh, bar or beam, if you, which, whichever way, uh, that will be no problem and the actual base will be done actually in blocks which as you may already know I do cast them and make them now that's the diorama base uh, that's just letting you know the sort of size that I'm going and which way I'm heading for now there is some other parts that actually came with the kit which some of them I shall be using I shall bring them into shot and then I shall bring the camera down uh, so we can see just a tiny bit better. Give the camera a chance to focus. There we go. Right. We have some very nice pieces that they that uh, Mini are actually put in. There is some extremely nice benches. This is the end of the bench, the bench seat. Uh, which is extremely nice. It's well detailed. I'm quite happy to use that in on the diorama. Also, we have uh, some different sh types of uh, cast bollards, uh, which there again, I'm quite happy to use them as well. Uh, but watch this space. If I can actually find a mould at some time with uh, bollards in, we'll be into bollards. 
also we have some uh, railings. Uh, I have noticed there's quite a few, if we get up, is that all focusing? Will it focus in? No, it's playing up. There is quite a few sinkholes in in some of these on the back. Uh, so I might be using them. I might not. I, I haven't decided. But there, there will be railings going up. The manhole covers. No, I won't be using them because I do do. I've got some nice cast ones, which. Uh, these are nice, don't get me wrong, they extremely are nice, but I have got some ones ones with uh, a bit far superior. Uh, can we see that? I think this one I've just started, uh, this one I'll just give it a coat of black paint ready to do a bit of weathering on it. Uh, let's have a little look with the camera focus on that. No, it won't, it won't. But, believe me, they are extremely better than them ones there. Uh, yeah, you can just about see, even though, even though I've missed bits with the paint. Like I say, I've just given that a coat of paint just ready to dry brush it and make it look rusty. So I won't be using them. The storm drains, they're very good as well, but I have uh, some cast storm drains. Uh, I do like the style of these though. These to me are more sort of uh, pre-war uh, shape. So watch this space, I might be using them, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, we've got a, a few sprues of them. Uh, this one here now, this is, get it in shot so you can see it, now this, this is very nice, I do like this, well detailed, nicely done, we have the overhead poles to carry the electric for the tram, we have an excellent base, uh, these poles are all cast in one, so one solid point, so it's only the, uh, the screw, screw gates that you're going to have to clean up and it's the same with the overhanging piece that actually carries the electrics, that bit there. Uh, this part and that part, they're done in two halves. I think they're the base to actually start bringing this up to height if you understand what I mean. So it's a, it's a shame they didn't do that in one piece as well because that would have been ideal. The bottom half comes in two pieces uh, because of the shape of it, it's a hexagon shape, it's not going to be a big issue because where it joins, it joins on one of these seam lines, so it's not going to stand out, so I'm quite happy to use that. Uh, the lights are done in, in two halves as well, uh, we'll see how they go, but I can't really see a great deal of problem, just a little bit of fettling and uh, cleaning up. Now we've got two of them on two separate sprues which is okay but I'm gonna have to order in another set and I know Mini Art actually do these separately uh, because I feel the size of it is gonna need three posts instead of uh, two so I shall order one of their kits in for that and that is basically it for the moment so it's just an introduction just to sort of like explain which direction I'm going. I will start uh, on the uh, cutting the base today, which is Sunday. I will get that cut today and sorted out and then I will do regular updates on how I'm doing it, which way I'm doing it and uh, how it's going to look right at the end. So thank you very much for joining me and listening to me jabber on about in which direction I'm going and uh, I will see you in a few days time on the first update. So thank you very much.